Hey guys, my name is Danae and I'm back again with another YouTube video. As you see, I have all of these wonderful things around me and I am wearing this wonderful crew neck and if you are wondering why, then you're probably in the wrong place because it says it in the title. I've been wanting to do a sorority tag for a very long time, about a little over a year now. And I tried to do one with my line sisters at our Christmas party, but anybody who knows my line knows exactly how that went. And yeah, I wish I had the footage, but I don't know where the hell it's at. I, it's hilarious, though. If I find it, I probably won't post it. Cause, uh, anyway, shout out to Spring 16 House of Cards. The name speaks for itself. Okay, so I'm going to get into the sorority tag. What is the name of your sorority? So I already said it, but my sorority's name is Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated, as you see on this beautiful sweater. I love this, well, crew neck. I love this crew neck so freaking much. What is your sorority's hand sign? So this is our hand sign. It makes a little pyramid slash delta, and it goes with our first letter, delta. I am a delta. Looks like a delta. Pyramid, delta, whatever. What is your sorority's call? So... We don't really have an official call, um, but it's basically... Did you always want to join a sorority? So this is actually a really interesting and very long question, so I'm going to try to make it very short. So my mother is also a member of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. So yes, I have always wanted to be a Delta. My mom actually chartered the chapter that I'm a part of, well, was a part of because I just graduated, but I um, was initiated through the Royal Alpha chapter of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated on Westchester University's campus. My mom chartered that chapter in 89 and she became a Delta Fall 88. So um, again, yes, I always wanted to be a Delta because I was raised around a whole bunch of Deltas. I was always up at homecoming and saw how the Deltas moved and my aunts and my mom and da 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 da. Everybody that was so close to me that I really cared about were Deltas so I always knew I wanted to be a Delta. In fact, I'm going to share this with you. So my mom got me this book, My Mommy is a Delta, when I was about nine years old, between the ages of seven and nine. And just reading it, I just knew exactly what I wanted to be. And I still have it after all these years because I'm planning to give it to my baby one day. Ugh. Um, but I remember she when she brought this for me and I was very excited. But I had known even before then that I wanted to be a Delta. In fact, I remember telling my mom at the tender age of six that I was interested in... Um, my interest just never went away. So, um, another thing just to show you guys how long I was interested before I joined is this autograph book. I think it's from when I was like seven years old. But the reason why I'm showing you guys this is because I drew the letters out perfectly, but it says Deta Sigma Theta. Um, so that just goes to show. And then on this other page I wrote, I had the letters and I just have DST. I guess I gave up. What is your favorite sorority related memory? I'd honestly say just crossing was probably my best memory thus far. My line sisters are amazing and awesome and I love them so much. I don't talk to them all the time, but they know how much I love them. I know how much they love me. So definitely being able to just say that I'm a Delta, like, was probably one of the biggest highlights of my life and being able to call my mom my soror like being able to hug her after I cross was probably one of the most amazing feelings I've ever had in my life hands down what is your favorite gift that you've ever received so I actually have it near me and I'm so excited to show it to you guys you guys have probably been looking at it the whole time or maybe not but um this little little elephant here this cute little thing so as I mentioned before, my mom um, is a Delta. I've said that multiple times. My mom is a Delta. And um, I remember playing with this like when I was very little. If you guys can see, this elephant has like a red sweater on and it has um, the, the symbols. And I didn't mention this before, but the elephant is like our unofficial um, animal. But yeah, so this is definitely my favorite gift. My mom gave this to me in a little basket. My mom got me so much. I got so much when I became a Delta period, but my mom got me so much and so many things that were meaningful. Um, so this was definitely my favorite gift because I used to play with this when I was a baby and I hadn't seen it since like 
I don't even know how long it had been since I'd seen this, but she gave it to me, and then I cherish it so much. And along with this, she also, something else I don't have with me, but she also gave me a card of all the times she dressed me in red and white as a child. She never got me my, um, she never got me shirts that said, uh, Future Delta, thankfully, but she did always dress me in red and white. It was always destined, always meant to be, so. This is my favorite gift. She also got me this pillow right here. Um, which I absolutely love. Is sisterhood a real thing? I'd say sisterhood is a real thing. Um, it depends on really who you talk to, the answer that you're going to get for that. But I would say sisterhood is a real thing. I think just like sister, I don't have sisters. I only had a, I only have a brother. But just like with uh, how I imagine siblings are, siblings don't always get along. Siblings sometimes fight. But at the end of the day, they are your sibling or sister or brother or whatever, and you're always going to be there for them uh, when it really counts. So I do think sisterhood is a real thing. What is the time commitment for your chapter? Uh, this is probably my favorite question to answer just because it's probably the realest one. And for anybody who's interested in joining Greek life, this will definitely be something that you need to pay attention to. So... <sighs> the time commitment. The time commitment is crazy. <laughs> like, people come into it not knowing what to expect. They think it's like a whole bunch of parties and, and strolling and t-shirts and blah, 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 which it is. But the time commitment is wild, like, out of this world. I, every, every time somebody asks me, what's one thing I wish I knew before joining, it would definitely be the time commitment. And anybody who is an active member of their organization will tell you the same exact thing. We have chapter meetings once a month, but then we have program planning meetings, and then we have programs if you're on a, in a collegiate chapter. I don't know how alum chapters work because I just graduated, but I'll um, find out soon. But, um, yeah, programs, and then you have trainings, and then you have, don't even get me started when on when membership intake starts. Like, a crazy 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 time commitment and then imagine being involved in other things on top of that just to give you guys a little bit of an idea it takes a lot of your time and people who are watching this still probably and aren't Greek still probably don't even understand but it takes a lot of your time and for my senior year I was chapter president um, which such an honor but <laughs> very stressful very time-consuming how many items of clothing do you have I cannot begin to tell you how many clothes I have. I honestly, I'm going to be 100% real with you guys. I probably went through five shirts just trying to figure out what to wear in this video. I have so many Delta clothes, it's absolutely like ridiculous. There's things that I haven't even worn. I crossed spring 16. Um, spring 2016 for anybody who doesn't understand what that means and I still have clothes that I haven't worn yet I have so many clothes it's ridiculous like so many clothes what is the best part about being in a sorority so the best part about being in a sorority I'd say personally I love my line sisters so much they are so amazing and they have been one of the biggest blessings to my life um, they already know how much they mean to me but I definitely would say, um, other than that, a great part of it is being able to network with so many people. Delta is a huge organization. We have chapters in the United States and outside of the United States. Um, so there's soar wars all over the world. And it's been amazing for connections and trying to find a job and people to mentor you and things like that. It's been amazing. So I would definitely say, aside from having my line sisters, um, and just being able to give back to the community, the connections that I received are definitely the best part for me. But yeah, that was the last question. So I thank you guys so much for watching my channel. Again, I'm so sorry I couldn't have my line sisters or anybody else with me. Spring 16 <laughs> needs to get it together, but it's fine. We probably never will. But I thank you guys so much for watching my video. If you guys have any questions, any comments, or anything, please feel free to hit me up on my socials or just comment below. Please like and subscribe and also share this video and let me know um, if I forgot anything or if you relate to anything or any questions you have that I may be able to answer. Please let me know. Have a blessed day.